Okay, in this video we're going to have a look at how we can make our own CF Express card and the reason I'm kind of doing this is because um, I, I'm using kind of the uh, the GH6 and it's got CF Express Type B and it's a really great format but one of the issues is just that the cards are very expensive so you know a 128 gig card like this off the shelf it's going to be around a hundred pounds, a hundred dollars at a, at a good price really so you know it, it's quite expensive but what we can do is we can actually build ourselves a uh, CF Express Type B card so these are the main two elements of it essentially you've got the case and you've got the uh, what's called the NVMe so the uh, it's an M M2 uh, 2230 SSD essentially this is uh, you know the, the name is essentially the size of it and then the, um, the it, we adapt it into the case and it's as simple as kind of plug and play it's not um, there's not very much to it so what I'm going to do is just quickly run through you know the bits I've got and we'll just kind of go through quickly how we can build the card and make it work <coughs> and it, it's worth mentioning you know that these cards are not um, you know they're not kind of recommended by manufacturers or anything like that so um, just just be sure that you know it, it's going to work for the type of camera you're using and everything but essentially what I've bought here I've got the um, I've got a Western Digital um, SN740 NVMe and uh, this is called the JE uh, CF Express Type B card and there are all types of different ones I got these ones from AliExpress to try and keep the cost down what I wanted to get was one terabyte for under a hundred pounds all in um, I'll, I'll leave links to these products themselves but also to um, you know other products that you can get from uh, uh, from places like Amazon and you know you'll get them a lot quicker obviously but they're slightly more expensive um, so what we'll do is just quickly run through what we've got so like I said I've got the the adapter and the NVMe drive and also in the box I've got a thermal paste, <laughs> some finger covers and a uh, like an application tool for the paste um, and it's as simple as that there's really not a great deal to it so um, what I've done is I've already taken the screws off the uh, off the card case so you don't have to watch me do that and what you'll find is you can just pull it apart with your fingers and then you've essentially got two sides to the card and then this is our adapter piece that will plug into our camera so what you should be able to do just very lightly you can just sort of pull it away from the case and then this is the piece that our NVMe slots into um, the sticker you can leave on there because it's just um, as far as I'm aware they they actually have kind of conductive properties so the sticker can be can be left on and that's absolutely fine and then we can just plug that in just as simple as pushing it together and then our thermal paste goes on the back of here so what we can do quickly is we'll just put that down on the table and oh it's pretty worth mentioning I, I got a screwdriver with this and that was how I took the um, the card apart you'll see me putting it back together it's this, obviously exactly the same process um, you can use any, any type of uh, mini screwdriver set with it and it will just work Okay, and I'm just going to grab a tissue as well, just to be able to take the lid off this paste. Try not to get it onto your um, onto your skin or anything like that. It's uh, you can wear a pair of gloves to do this, but you shouldn't be using so much that it makes a complete mess. So we'll just apply a little bit onto the back of the board. That's probably slightly too much, but I'll have to just remove any any kind of excess. Put that back on there. Okay, and then you can just use the tool to kind of flatten it out over the surface. I'd be lying if I said that was the neatest job but that should be perfectly fine for what we need and then next what we're going to do is you essentially can only put this into there 
in one direction so what we'll do is just drop the drop that into there and then the front just lines up and it should just drop into place which it more or less has you just need to make sure this back bit here falls into the into the slot trying not to get it all over your fingers like I have done um, and then we will just put the lid back on the top so in my version the sloping part of it actually comes onto the front like this and then it should just all sit nice and flush like that and then you know it's all kind of fit in there properly and then this bit is the slightly tedious bit where you've got to kind of get the get the tiny screws back you've got to be really careful with them because they're absolutely tiny and then just kind of drop them in and then obviously it's just as simple as just kind of screwing them in doing that six times over <laughs> sorry I can't even get these out of the packet they're so small let me tip them out of there and then once we've done this part we are pretty much there one thing you may find with these um, with these cards and cases is that they don't always fit as nicely in your camera as a pre-built card um, and quite often they don't have like kind of nice nice kind of grips or logical places to kind of pull them out of the uh, out of the camera so if you feel like you're forcing the um, the card into the camera obviously don't do that you know you can test it before even putting the drive in there if the um, card is going to fit nicely into the camera or not and what we'll do is once we've got this last screw in we will quickly just test that so there we go we're, we've got our card all put together we'll just push that paste out of the way put that to the side okay and then the camera that I'm using I've got the Panasonic GH6 which if you watch this channel you know that and then I'm just going to pop out the cards and then I'm just going to put the card into the CF Express slot so um, sorry I put it in the right way around um, so you can see on, on my one there's there's not a great deal of resistance in there. I can put it in in there fairly fairly easily. So I'm just going to pop that card in, and then you can see it does pop back out. But as I mentioned before, sometimes they're not the best to be able to get back out. You've got to give it a tiny, tiny little bit of uh, force to kind of get them back out. But let's put the card in. Let's get the let's get the camera started up and see what we've got. So you can see on here, the card is working because it's it's come up at the bottom. Um, what you'll probably have to do is actually format it first, which I have already previously done on on this card. Um, it will come up with a um, asking you to format it. I'll overlay that over the top just so you can kind of see uh, that. If you're using a Lumix camera, I'll link up in the corner on how to um, do that kind of um, uh, do that card formatting, but. What you can see here is that we've got um, we've got a working card, and the option that I'm on I'm in ProRes 5.7K. So actually, what I can do get it in the menu. You can see that this is a really intensive video mode, and I can just switch that on, let it record. I'm confident with the um, with the speed of card that I bought that it, if it's all working as it should. Uh, the, the speeds are going to be no issue it's going to be as quick if not quicker than a lot of my other CF Express type B cards so um, uh, obviously I need to test it I'm going to do that with uh, just some sort of little personal projects and um, you know just going out and, and doing a bit of shooting I, I'm not going to try it with kind of commercial <laughs> any kind of commercial shoots to start with because I can't I can't risk that but um, I'm just going to give it a try see which um, shooting modes I can use if there's any limitations or anything like that and um, yeah I mean so far with this it's it's looking good so it's uh, it's a good solution really that gives me 
a whole terabyte you can even get two terabytes um available to um shoot in the um in the camera with without having to go up to ssd or anything like that so you know it's it's quite a quick easy solution and it's a lot more affordable than um than paying for cards so you know hopefully this video has been helpful if it has give the video a like if you want to see more content like this then please subscribe